All right, hey everybody, how's it going? So today I wanna show you guys my Moorish gecko spot. So Moorish geckos are a large species of gecko that are actually from Africa and the Mediterranean, I believe. And for some reason, there's a small population here in Texas that lives under a bridge. Can't say exactly where, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be looking for today. And hopefully I'll be able to find one for you guys so you can get a good look at one. So yeah, wish me luck under this bridge. All right, everybody, we already have our first sign of a Moorish gecko. Oh man, you can't see it, but anyway, there's a Moorish gecko egg in there. So we're on the right track. All right, right here's old Moorish gecko egg. It's really crusty and dusty looking, so I do believe this one's infertile, but over here, oh man, where is it? Yeah, right there. You can see it a little bit. That's a fertile one. So they are reproducing quite a bit down here. Yep, this is what I'm going through to try to find these Moorish geckos. Daddy long legs, tons of spider webs. Well, not Daddy Long Legs, that's a stupid name. Call him Harvestman. Tons of wasps nests. Imagine bumping your head into that. That suck. Alright guys, check this out. Sure did take me long enough to catch one. But here is a Moorish Gecko. Check that out. That thing is beautiful. And believe it or not, they do get a little bit bigger than this. But yeah, I'm really not sure how a African species ended up under a bridge in Texas, but you know, you never really get to know the full story behind a lot of invasive species. Oh, there we go, he's upset. Yeah, check that out. Oh, oh no. Okay. But this one's beautiful. I've actually never seen one this lightly colored. I don't know if that's because it's daytime. But yeah, I've never seen one like this. Usually when I find them, they're a whole lot darker than this. Yeah, that's so cool to see. So what they're doing is, I don't, there we go, it's focusing now. They're living in the cracks in between these, uh, in between the structure of the bridge. So that's really interesting. So I will go ahead and walk this adorable little guy back to his crack over there where my backpack is and we will let him go together after I get a few more shots of this beautiful lizard. Look at this. I don't know how well the camera's gonna be able to pick it out, but this individual literally has blue coloration. That is insane. I've never seen anything like that. I can't believe that. Wow. Now, I wouldn't call these uh, invasive species because, you know, it's a isolated population under a bridge, so they're not hurting anything. That's what you would call it, introduced species, or yeah, I guess introduced. But yeah, they're not pushing anything out. They're not harming anything. They're not damaging other species. And let's face it, they're never gonna become what the Mediterranean house gecko is. They're similar, but they're just never gonna become that in Texas. So, here we go. All right, here we go. Okay, goodbye, buddy. Thank you for letting me get pictures of you. You're real cool. Go on. 
<laughs> that was awesome. Wow. All right, guys, check this out. Also under the bridge, we have the other more familiar species, the Mediterranean house gecko, which is far more abundant and will always be here in Texas. There's no getting rid of these. Check this out. This is a gravid female. You can see the eggs inside of her. Here, let me see if I can. Nope, that's not gonna work. Hang on. Check it out, right here are two hatched out Moorish gecko eggs. That's cool. All right guys, so my main goal from this point on is to try to find either a baby Moorish gecko or a gigantic marsh gecko. One of the two will work. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. There's a marsh gecko. It's a nice one, too. Holy crap. Okay, hang on. And the phone's going off. That's great. Okay, hang on. Let's see. Alright. We're gonna try this. Get the snake hook out. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, shoot. Sure. I'm sorry, guys. Yep, there we go. Lost that one. That's great. Anyway, the reason why I think I'm not seeing any juveniles is because either they're really good at hiding or they're getting cannibalized upon by the adults, which is definitely a possibility. All right, guys, check it out. I just caught another Moorish gecko. Took me forever, but yeah, this one's a really nice one. It's it's not the super small juvenile that I was hoping for, but it's still pretty small. Gosh, I've got to try to get further away from the traffic of the bridge here so you guys can hear me. But anyway, pretty cute little guy. But yeah, these guys have the toe pads and the ability to go upside down vertically. They can do all that, which is really cool. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got the glove. But, yeah. It's real cool. So, let's go ahead and take them back to the bridge. Oh, actually, I wanted to get a couple of shots of them. So, I'll wait until he lets go eventually. Time for Buddy to go back home. gosh guys check it out this was actually the last thing I was expecting I flipped this old trash under the bridge pretty much and there was a really nice checkered garter under it I can't believe that look at that little guy it's actually not little I mean it's a it's a half decent looking garter here hang on let me get a better hold on him yeah that's not working but anyway checkered garter let's get him to the sun Oh yeah, check that out. Alright, let's go ahead and release our checkered garter back under his garbage. There we go. All right, everybody, thank you for watching me try to track down the Moorish geckos that live in the cracks of this bridge. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.